In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off parental controls inside of Rocket League. Now, it's very simple to do. Just pay close attention so you can get it all correct. Now, first thing, before I do this, I want to say, make sure if you are doing this, you have permission from your parents to do it. Um, make sure you don't try and do this if you don't. So to actually go ahead and do this, you can't do it inside of Rocket League itself. You're going to have to go ahead onto the Epic website to do it, and I'll show you what you need to do from there. So you're going to need to go over to the Epic website and make sure that you're signed into your account. And this needs to be the same account you use to log in to your uh, for, uh, Rocket League. Now you can actually sign into the Epic website with your PlayStation and Xbox account. So if you don't think you have an Epic account, then it's probably under your PlayStation or Xbox. You can see here it has all of these different sign-in options. So once we are signed in, we want to click on the profile picture here of our account. And we want to scroll down to where it says account here. Once you've gone to the account section, you're going to have to scroll down to where it says parental controls. So you can see this one here is parental controls. And it's going to ask you for your PIN. So you're going to have to go ahead and enter the password or the PIN that your parents have set for this. So make sure you have the permission to do this. And if you don't know your PIN, you can go ahead and reset it here by clicking forgot your PIN. So inside here, these are the parental controls and you can change the ones you specifically want. So if you go down here, first of all, you've got things like allow um, or always request a pin for purchases. You've got stuff like what games you're allowed to play. So you can change the rating. This means you'll be able to play games that are Peggy free all the way up to unrated. And then over here, you've got social permissions. So um, who can add you as a friend, uh, which kind of people you can speak with. So can you speak with everyone, friends and teammates, friends only and nobody who can you text with? Um, and then you've got your email preferences and you've also got some Fortnite settings over here. Now, most of the time you're going to probably want to do these social permissions. These are basically things like um, voice chat and that kind of thing. And this will affect Rocket League essentially. But that's basically how you do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Rocket League or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.